This is Classic FM. Hello, welcome to Classic FM Online. I'm Anne-Marie Minhall and I'm joined on the sofa today by the violinist David Garrett. David, welcome back Thank to you Classic very FM. Much. Very nice to have you here Always to talk about. Always good to be uh, a visitor here. Well, we've got lots to talk about today. We've got, about, we've got to talk about your new album yeah. and what's going on in your life and all the tours that you're doing around the world. So plenty to, 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 to fit in. Can we begin with Legacy, which right. is your new album, which includes the Beethoven Violin okay. Concerto, and also works by Fritz Kreisler. Mm -hmm. And you say the Beethoven is a work since you were knee high to a grasshopper. You've yeah. always wanted to record. Well, it's um, one of those concertos. Uh, at some point in your lifetime, you want to give it a go with. Um, I think I performed it the first time uh, when I was 11 with orchestra. So it's been in my repertoire for uh, quite a long time. Um, it's definitely a challenge. I mean, it, you normally get one take with the Beethoven and you better make it work. And of course, there are hundreds of good and bad recordings of the Beethoven. So it's, it is a challenge. In terms of its um, endurability, <coughs> yeah. why, why do audiences carry on falling in love with it, do you think? Um, I find it uh, a bit of both sides. It's on the one hand, a, a quite compli complex and complicated work. On the other hand, I think Beethoven had a wonderful way of uh, introducing motives, which throughout the piece occurred in such numerous occasions that uh, people just get hooked on a certain melody or a certain rhythm. And I think the Beethoven uh, concert is a wonderful example of that. So even though you might not realize it when you hear it the first time, for instance, the first four quarter notes in the first move, and I actually, one of my uh, friends, Shlomo Mintz, once asked me to count them through. It's like oh, over 1,200 times reoccurring. So even though maybe you don't have like the most classical ear when you hear this the first time, uh, there is something which reminds you all the time of, of a motive or a melody. And I think that makes the, uh, the whole composition very, very easy for the ear. I'm glad you mentioned um, those, those opening bars because yeah. early detractors, when it was first performed, described it as the kettle drum yeah. concerto. And you mentioned well, it depends there. how you play the first four notes. But you, <laughs> you studied that with, with uh, Yehudi Menuhin, didn't you? I studied the Beethoven concerto literally with everybody I, uh, I really respected and, and had the privilege of working with. I worked it with Ida Hendel, I worked it over with Perlman. I uh, did also have the chance to go through um, uh, most of it with Menuhin, um, played it for Isaac Stern, so I guess good, good people to uh, you know, at least play this concerto for. When you return to a, to a work like the, like the Beethoven Concerto, David, yeah. I mean, d you said you played it when you, you know, when you were a lad and now you're playing it at the age you are now. I mean, d is it the sort of work that you discover new things about, different things about every time you, well, you yeah. approach it? You have to force yourself to discover, you know, it's, it's an, it always is um, an exploration. And what I really love to do is, especially when I play something which I have played before, like the Beethoven is, you know, start fresh, you know, buy um, a new score um, and really start working again from what is originally in the score. And, uh, you know, th I think the most important question as an instrumentalist, as an interpreter of great music, is uh, not to rely on things you've done yesterday, but, you know, really question why you did them. And I think then you get the best result. And how did you enjoy recording it with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra and the conductor, Ion Marin? Well, uh, Ion Marin, I, I know since many, many years from Verbier, when actually I was working with Isaac Stern at that point, and he's a wonderful um, musician, great guy, and it was very comfortable to work with him. And uh, of course, the orchestra, you know, they're very established and very um, professional. So it was a, a very, very quick recording and, and very pleasant to work with. This is Classic FM.